kind of want to try just doing a big scaled up version of that where I just get like a gallon of oil boiling and on fire and then pouring like a gallon of water onto it. I don't know if this dome would be big enough to contain that fireball, honestly. That would be a lot of fire. Hey guys, I'm Nate. Welcome back to the dome where, as you can probably see by my breath, it's pretty chilly. Today we've got another fun experiment. Salt and oil are usually things that go really well together on foods. Today we're gonna see if they go really well together when the salt is 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna melt down some salt until it's nice and liquid and then we're gonna pour that super hot salt onto three different types of oil to see how it reacts. We've got some standard liquid cooking oil, we've got some butter, and then we've got some motor oil. And we're gonna try pouring molten salt into all three of those and see what happens. The flash point, or the point where these oils should light on fire, is well below the melting temperature of salt. So we might be able to get these to light on fire. Let's find out. Let's fill our crucible with salt and fire up the furnace. Okay. That looks like a good amount of salt. Here we go. We're going to start using our cooking oil, and while our salt is just finishing up melting in the foundry, we'll fill our pot. Now, I don't think that pouring salt into oil will have any large splashing or explosive effects. But as a precaution, I am wearing this jacket. I'm gonna even put the hood up, I'll have glasses on, and I'll have my thick leather welding gloves. Like I said, I don't think it will explode. I hope it will light on fire. We'll find out. Woo! Look at that. That is some toasty salt. All right, here we go. Three. Two, one. All right, that lit on fire just exactly like I was expecting it to, but I did not see the formation of the salt coming at all. Look at the shape of that. It's like coral or something in there. That is wild. That is so weird. Wow. Also, it kind of smells like we're cooking now because, you know, salt and oil together. That's not unpleasant. Look at that shape. I hope I can get that all out in one piece from the pot. It might be a little bit fragile, so it might break when I try, but man, that is cool. Also, the oil is just still on fire. It's kind of interesting because most of the oil, I think, is not hot enough to be burning, but it lit the surface on fire. And so we'll see. Maybe that's now heating it up even more. It's hard to tell. I haven't lit a whole lot of oil on fire. Maybe it's something I need to play with, but yeah, this is pretty cool. See if it'll blow out. Hmm, I think the moisture from my breath makes it angry. It does not want to blow out. What do you think? Should I pour some water on it? Of course I should. I'm gonna pour some water on it. That was great. Nice little fireball. I love the way that traveled up like that. That looked really good. And interestingly, it did put the fire out. Actually, I think it was that the fire went into the fireball and might have burned up all of the oxygen, so there was no more for it to be burning, but I don't really know. But in the end, it looked cool. No one got splattered. Nice little tower fireball. And now the fire's out, so we can try and take our chunk of weirdly shaped salt out. Here we go, that is what happened to our molten salt when I poured it into the cooking oil. And I will tell you, there were many things I thought might happen. It never occurred to me that this would happen. Now I'm curious if it will do that with the other kinds of oil. We've also started to fry our board a little bit because our oil is still very toasty. Fried wood, mmm. Next up, we're gonna see what happens if we pour our molten salt onto butter. Now, this isn't gonna start as a liquid, so I'm sure we'll have something of a different result. I don't 
don't even know what it is that's igniting. All right, here we go. Molten salt onto butter in three, two, one. That's a lot of thick smoke. I think most of the flames went out though. I hear it bubbling a lot. Now butter has a lot more water in it. Butter isn't as pure of an oil as cooking oil. It has a lot of other chemicals and materials in it. That smells really good. It smells like something delicious cooking. Boy, that is some boiling oil right there. It's still going, it's been there for like a minute and a half. So it's obviously very hot, but I'm curious if it's flammable. So I'm gonna hit that with a blowtorch and see if it'll ignite. Nope, something's bubbling and boiling, but it's not lighting on fire. Our butter didn't light on fire the same way our cooking oil did, but it did boil a lot, and I think that's because there is some non-oil components to butter. I think the milk fat that butter's made from still has water in it, something like that, and now it's just boiling, and that's why it didn't ignite. But I'm curious to see what happened to the salt in this one, so I'm gonna dispose of the butter and then see what the salt underneath it's looking like. All right, so I poured off the melted butter and you can see where the two lower blocks of butter were still in the pan. So we've got the salt that poured down, melting the top two bricks of butter, and the bottom two took longer to melt, and so I think the salt solidified around those two blocks, and so we just have the two gaps where they were. Then, of course, they melted as well from the heat. Salt number one, salt number two. Well, we've got one more kind of oil to try, so let's melt up some more salt. Try it on that. We're gonna be doing this with motor oil. Three, two, one. And it's on fire. Excellent. Well, the motor oil lit on fire, very similar to how the cooking oil did. Making some nice boiling, bubbling action there too. I can't really see what the salt has done. It hasn't reacted the same way. We don't have the large coil looking formations that we did with the cooking oil. Hard to tell what we do have going on. It doesn't smell as good as it did with the butter. That smelled really good. I think we have the oil now vaporizing and burning. Oh, <laughs> it's just so warm it reignited itself. Interesting how different those turned out. I definitely like the one from the cooking oil the best. That's fun. This is now cooled off. So this is salt that cooled down in butter. Pretty good. A little burned tasting, but I can taste butter and I can taste salt. That's a good combo. But it also tastes like burning. That part's not great. I'm not gonna try licking that one. Frankly, I'm not too interested in trying to lick that one either, although it does look just really neat. Molten salt poured into three different types of oil. We've tried pouring it into cooking oil, we tried pouring it onto butter, and we tried pouring it onto motor oil. The cooking oil and motor oil both burst into flames almost immediately and stayed burning. The butter lit on fire very briefly, but then was put out, and I think that's by all of the non-oil solids and liquids that might make up the butter. It was very fun throwing a little bit of water onto our oil fires, and of course that explodes, and you should never do that anywhere that could catch things on fire, like a kitchen, or most places at your house, or anywhere that isn't a concrete dome with a dirt floor. This is a very safe place to burn things, and even so, I was careful to be wearing gloves, long sleeves, a hood, glasses, thick pants, everything to keep myself protected. I think by far the most surprised I was at this whole experiment was what happened to the salt when we poured it into the cooking oil. How full of something, I don't know, air or bubbles or oil or something that the salt got when we poured it into our canola oil. That part surprised me. Overall, I'm glad to have learned that salt does not explode on contact with oil or anything like that, but it does catch it on fire and that's always fun. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video or want to see it again, click up here at the top. Click down there if you want to see what the internet thinks that you should watch next. That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, and see you tomorrow.